to pull up lights. I'm going to do Kool-Aid's slide first. There it is. Oh, he's the king. So yeah, wholesome. Late, late fits, man. Look at him. Anyway, uh, so April 20... Dude, if you guys didn't know, he was a Brawl legend, too. He pit, was. Pit, his pit was so nasty. Uh, but anyway, you know, Lay's been playing since 2009, he said. He's been... His history with Smash 4 was a little shaky. Like, it was a little on and off. Like, he kind of semi-retired at one point, and then he came back. And he is easily motivated by people doubting him, and that's exactly what happened. People were like, oh, really, Kool-Aid? Like, I don't think he was that good. He came back, and he wants to prove a lot of people wrong, especially that young man Light over there, uh, who is kind of the opposite. Like, he's the young up-and-comer uh, in New England, currently number one. And he has, unless he's not on the PGR, which I so doubt. Uh, no, 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 I no. so, that. so doubt. That. But, no, there's no way. But he has, which one is Look at, look at that. He's why did he choose? Front, front I know who center. he is, yeah, but why course. did he choose a picture with five other humans in it? What is wrong? I knew that's there the Uchiha clan oh or something right God. there, man. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't. I don't make either. <laughs> I, I never watched Naruto, but I know it's from Naruto. <laughs> but anyway, Light, he's incredible. What do you say here? I have green eyes. I play fox. This is the full extent of his vocabulary. So <laughs> it is. I think someone helped him write this. I mean, just just look at Venia's again, real quick, uh, if you want to see how similar they are. <laughs> That's but when you copy off someone and you both get like a D minus at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like you both look at the test like, all right, man, what'd you write? All right, I'll write that too. That sounds good. Anyway, he said he can't wait to win the event. And hey, he just might if he goes through Kool-Aid and then Jackal. But that's still a long road ahead of him. And then whoever meets him in grand finals after that. So guys, the New England Classique. We've got Kool-Aid and Light number one and three. Or I'm sorry, three and one respectively Correct. Correct. in your home region, man. That's right, dude. And you know what? These sets pretty even too. Kool-Aid definitely no stranger to taking sets from Light. I think they're actually very even in set scores lifetime, so it should be very interesting, which is kind of crazy because you don't think about stuff like that. Like, you think, you know, Light, here he is on the PGR. Kool-Aid, I think he just missed out on the PGR. He had some really nice wins last season, but Light, you know, he's going to be, I think he was, mi like, lower 40s before, 42 maybe? Don't quote me on that. I think but it was 47, Was man. it 47? He, was pretty he, deep he, barely, down, he barely made it on. But this season, obviously, he's going to be in the upper. I would project him somewhere between, like, 10 and 15, 10 and 20, yeah, something I would like, give in, him in that area. 10 to 15 for sure. He's amazing. Yeah, I hope he does 10 because I want the spit Bay stuff. That would be sick. I want it, dude. I want a light hoodie. I mean, Light's definitely I one of the most energetic and chill players out there at the same time. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely a big fan of his. But the same could be said about my man Darius. That would be Kool-Aid. His old Twitter handle used to be Just Too Laid Back. And was it really? Or I maybe that, that was his old Wallace Brawl name. But he used to go by oh, that. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, he is he's a man of few words and many forward errors. So we'll see what he's able to bring to the table. It's going to be Lilac Cruz for the first set. I believe I casted this set at Collision with Koopa, and it was looking so good for Kool-Aid. I think he was up 2-0 and everything. Wow, did I just see that? Yeah, yeah, he's crazy, dude. The thing about Kool-Aid is the thing I would say about him is that he's such an unconventional player. Like, the options he goes for, the way he looks and thinks about the game and follow-ups, crazy complicated and strange. Like, sometimes he'll do something, and you're like, wow, this dude's a genius. And other times he'll do, other, he'll do something else, and you're like, wow, this dude's a donkey. Like, I have no idea what he's thinking about right now. A donkey, I mean, jackass. But anyway, yeah, his 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 Twitter is Blade Fit, Blade Fitness, Blade Fits. But he's trying to show off the fitness. That's a fully charged forward smash. Light, what are you doing holding that down? What a knucklehead, dude. I feel like he could have SDI'd out of the fully charged first hit pretty easily, but he didn't even try to. I, I don't think I've ever seen a fully charged Sheik F smash, though. It's been a while. Uh, yep, can't think of the last time. Dude, across all the games, like, seriously, you know what I mean? Yeah, that move is trash. Yeah. Kool-Aid, that's what I'm saying about unconventional stuff, though. You know what I mean? Some other Sheiks might have just forward tilted or forward air, try to get a little cute follow-up, bouncing fish, put Fox off stage. That all makes sense, right? Sounds like a good story. Kool-Aid, now nah, I'm going to fully charge forward smash at you. And it worked out, but speaking of things working out, light. Down air into up smash. Simple and clean Kingdom Hearts conversion right there. Got to agree with you on the unconventionality of Kool-Aid, though. I think that's been his calling card for years, even in his character choices. Doc, Pac-Man, Pit, and Brawl, right? Finally settling on a top tier like Sheik. He's also got a fox of his own and zero suit in the back pocket if he needs him. Yeah. He's a Wi-Fi warrior, too, which is something we didn't talk about with Jackal, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's how he learns all his matchups. He's a crazy Wi-Fi warrior, so potentially looking at two uh, Wi-Fi heavy players meeting in winner's finals, but Kool-Aid has a tall order in front of him in the form of Light. What a shine stole right there from Light, avoiding the oncoming bouncing fish from Kool-Aid. Very nice stuff from both these players. By the way, Light, the second seed in the entire tournament, was projected to meet Shoyo James here, who unfortunately had to drop out at the very, very, very last minute. Man, I miss watching James play, dude. He's so good. Yeah, he just won Future Sight yesterday with Bayonetta and Lila Band. Nice. So Let's go, this, James. This match would not have been possible yesterday. That's very true. And you like that. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> but either way, or we're going to see Kool-Aid potentially taking that match. No. 
Yeah, I like the air dash from Lei. Oh, I don't like that up smash though. Kool Aid trying to end it. Oh, forward smash. Trying to do Kool Aid back what he did to him. No, can't connect with the bouncing fish. Super close right now. Light tossing Kool Aid off stage. You know what? I think uh, he went for bouncing fish there. Uh, Ooh. Uh, I don't know why he went for that. I couldn't explain that. It's Kool Aid yeah. option. Kool Aid option, man. But the bouncing fish idea, my guess is that he was banking on the extra hit lag from the move, throwing off Light's tech timing, but he just grabbed the edge instead. It looked like Lila even tilted right into his range. Let's see here. I wonder if he was looking, I don't know, man. I mean, I think he just maybe, I don't know, maybe he would have thought that Light was going to pull the trigger on an up tilt right there or something and try to get the vanish. I, don't, I told you, man, before the set started, I told you, I do not want to try to understand this man's game plan. I just know it is very impressive at times. So let's see what he can do here. FD, one of his favorite stages, obviously. Very good stage for Sheik. Horizontal combos going to be coming out the Ying Yang. And nowhere to land from Fox, though. Yeah, exactly. Yep, exactly. That's going to be really tough. It's going to be a lot about neutral wins, Max. I mean, plain and simple. That's what the game comes down to a lot of times. And on this stage, for sure, with these two characters, too. I see Final Destination. I don't see any items. But only one of these guys is playing Fox. <laughs> Something does not compute. But Kool-Aid attacking some damage back on. Now that he has his position. Oh, but up tilt to up air, man. On a fast falling character like Sheik, and one as light as her, too, that's devastating. Mm -hmm. See a lot of offense coming out. I mean, 160%-ish on the board between these two players. Hold on. Tech situation. Nair, he's looking for the bouncing fish, too. Jab by Light contesting that. And he is so good. One thing about Light, there's so many good things you could say about Light. But his reactions to stray hits and up smash are, I think, the best in the business for Foxes. I really do. Love Larry. He's an incredible player. But I think Fox, or as far as Foxes go, Light never misses the conversions. Or techs, either. Very, very good techer. Yeah, Light, probably the best in the game at that. Yeah, I think so, too. But without fail, in every set, I see him drop one. No way. Because I always you talk about him. it. I always talk about it. I'm like, yo, Light, never miss a text. Play <gasps> a character like Fox, you got to have that. And then, oh, well, OK. What happened? I don't know if that counts as a miss. What? The ultimate magnetic hands. Get out of my head, Charles. Yeah, looking like Magneto right now, scooping that from, that was not fair. Can we get an instant replay when this set's done? Or when this game's done? These needles, though, bouncing light away, trying to get the two frame on the down tilt. Can't find it. Ooh, playing a game of chicken and light, the first of the punch with that grab. Wow, what? are you serious? A Hail Mary from the 50 yard line. That was insanity from Kool Aid. Getting that conversion out. Oh, uh huh, uh huh. He's going to look for that down air. Can't find it, though. Now light's off stage. This is horrible for him, Max. Get the forward throw into nothing, and now <laughs> light still on the offensive here. This is where we're going to see FD become a problem. Once Fox gets you in the air, it's really tough to get back down, what? especially with his dash attack. You see that down there? He just did it. Why not fair? Because he's Kool-Aid, man. Kool-Aid options. I'm going to keep calling him out. Very true, but he knows that you're not looking for stuff like that. And there is strategic purpose to using that move, right? It's two hits. It makes you go down very quickly. Throws your opponent's timing off it's, in a yeah, lot of ways. The funky timing, for sure, especially compared to all their quick aerials. Got a little, little pop before it. it. takes a second to come down. Yeah, if you're sure they're not going to sit there patiently, it could really pay off. Kool-Aid fighting his way back in. The Jazz intensifies behind us, by the way, as the set continues. Nice, good attempt there from Kool-Aid, trying to get the forward tilt. That's, oh, it's such a dangerous situation. At that time, Light waits for the air dodge. Can't find the follow-up, though. Oh, what a scary grab that Kool-Aid went for. I can't believe he's still living right now. That storm of aerials in the corner, and Light knowing when the roll-in was going to come too. Yes, able to pick that up. Not even off the true combo. He just knew Kool-Aid DI'd out. He might tech in to try to throw him off, and Light's all over that. Light's so good at stopping his movement to wait, see what you do, use his reaction speed and uh, Fox's speed as a character to chase you down and KO you. You're on the ground, he can up smash you, and he knows that. He's been making a living off of it ever since. <laughs> Is that the magic discovery he made? Is that what He's turned Light from the Arcadian winner to the real tournament winner? Dude, in the same season, he got ranked like number four in New England or three. He also won the Arcadian because he wasn't ranked the season before. So it's a good payday for Light for sure, but here we go. Trying to make this game three work out for himself. Take out Kool-Aid 3-0. It's going to be tough, though. Also trying to find a nice payday here at Players Ball. We have over $1,200 in the pot. Only top eight's getting paid out, so you guys can do it. Well, maybe you can't do math, but either way, you got to know it's a grip of cash right there. Also, first place gets 50% because we well, want to reward math. our hard winners here. Here comes Kool-Aid, though. Nice little string. Couple fairs and a bouncing fish. Putting light on the ledge. He's tough to pin down, though, man. Even with Fox, it's just tough. He's got good options. Creative mind, for sure. Yeah, a character that you wouldn't think is too great at escaping disadvantage or ledge traps, but he's got that side B. He's got shine to alter his timing, and he has pretty good buttons on the way down. Kool-Aid trying to find his way down. Like you said, though, Max, he doesn't have anywhere to retreat, no platforms to go to, so Light has been getting a ton off of that, but there goes Kool-Aid pulling the trigger on the Bouncing Fish and taking the first blood in this game three.
And even when you do have platforms to land on against Fox, think about Battlefield and how much he likes that stage. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it, Fox, he's a hard character to counterpick for sure. Especially, I feel like for Sheik, too. I feel like this is the best counterpick, but here we go. Light looking for the follow-up, gets the up air. If he doesn't get you on the ground, he'll get you in the air. Yeah, and he knew that Kool-Aid was looking for jump to escape that landing trap he had for him. What? Yeah, he gets it. He mixes it up, man. Why not? He's a smash sticker, though, so it yeah. makes sense. <laughs> Could have been an input error for uh, Dash Dak, the instant Dash Dak. Mm -hmm. Mixing it up a little bit on Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid trying to fight his way out of this disadvantage. This Fox Blender with the forward smash. All right, you know what? Whatever. He took one more hit, so it kind of got him out of there. He'll pay that price for sure. Ooh, calling out that shine. Oh, these percents so close, but Kool-Aid way closer to death. That's true. Here we go. Grab. Let's see what Light can find. He went up with that. That was so bold. Why would you go above Fox when you have the option to go? I guess your off stage is really scary, too. Pick your poison. Kool-Aid options. Ooh, and a Light option right there, trying to hard read a roll in. We see Light cover the edge so well with those back airs. It's very tempting to try to cross him up like that. You know, grab from Light, putting Kool-Aid up. I mean, Kool-Aid keeps going high with it. I'm Light. I'm happy with these grabs. Yeah, just tack it on piece by piece, and eventually your opponent's going to get impatient and give you the read you want. <sighs> okay. All right, you got one. That's right. Kool-Aid right. hanging on here. Yeah, that's good, man. Forcing a game four situation for Kool-Aid, but now he has to fight off of Light's two counter picks in order to take the set cleanly. But talked about veteran status and mentality and what it means over a five-game set. Kool-Aid, obviously... Dude, he's so jacked, by the way. Yeah, literally ripping <laughs> through this shirt with his muscles. <laughs> this guy's just ridiculous. He's super ripped, dude. Like, That's why his Twitter what's is up late with that? fitness, Late fits. Got to give him the shout out for sure. But here comes Town and City. It's going to be Young Light's pick. Kind of setting the pace with the blaster. There have been more hand-to-hand -hand combat, so Light trying to get the projectiles going. But then you remember that Kool-Aid has an amazing projectile himself. Yeah, up tilt, too. Good reach right there. Yeah, Kool-Aid extending in, a, again, a very unconventional fashion. Down throw into two up airs. You don't see that too much in general. And then to still pick it up with a second hit of up tilt all the way up there. Jab from Fox. Kool-Aid just running away, respecting him. That's a good way to go, especially when Light has been on fire with these tech chases and uh, mix-up situations. Fox is too fast of a character to zone against effectively, even with the projectile as good as Sheik's Needles. Got to tack on those normal hits. Start swinging rather than just throwing stuff because he can get in that zone so easily. Wow, great. He does. He spaces that Nair on shield so perfectly. He baits so many people into trying to grab, and then what he'll do is forward smash you. I've seen him win sets so many times doing that, so you're looking to be light. Watch out for that option, especially at the ledge. He'll Nair your shield just at the perfect distance and just forward smash you for it. The third hit of forward air, for some reason, being light's choice to fast follow with. Of course, not a move that auto cancels, so you got to really bank on that hitting. You know, Sheik, gotta like the stage too. Talking about how hard it is to counterpick against Fox, but Sheik, gonna like the, the both the FD transformation, obviously, but also the platforms. Try to carry Fox off the top. Ooh, it's, ooh, with the tech, okay, nice. Kool-Aid hanging on. Well, that shield is, oh, dude, I think I think that down smash would have shield poked too. The shield was way too small. Forward air, good tech by Light, hanging on too. He's always ready for it. Might as well option select it in there if you're on your way up with up B. That's right. No reason not to. Bouncing fish, though, very nice. Kool-Aid, though, unable to find any percentages. Light on the hunt, taking that stock down super quick. That looked like it still comboed, even though it wasn't the weak hit of the up tilt. Pretty sure Kool-Aid could have moved, though. Uh-oh, back air, yeah, no tech oh, necessary. And that's, oh, that's I chic, thought that was it. Course. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, oh. That was breathe. still not even breathe. the full extent, it seems like. You know, yeah. you're always... I was scared, dude. Yeah, I, I agree, man. I thought so at first, but I was like, wait, Sheik? Fox Privilege is strong in this game, too. Hold on. <gasps> what the, oh, why not just jab? Jab would have done it. Oh, yeah, lock him in there. Jab, and just jab, let, let it go. go immediately. It has pretty decent base knockback, especially if you're touching the blast zone. But it's but if you gamble and you lose right there, like if you're stuck holding Sheik, jab, you lose. You know what I mean? Anyway. Exactly. Well, we're still living. We're still living. Still moving on, Max. This game is continuing. <laughs> Looked like he finally let go of that jab early because he recognized what Kool-Aid did game one on Lila. It's fully charged forward smash. I thought we were going to see the fair drag down yeah. footstool to close the set out here from Light. But instead, Kool-Aid hanging on just a little bit. Footstool's off the shield. This man is a genius. He knew he had no more resources left. It would be hard for him to get away without Light tracking him. Yeah, everyone gets one, but it's so dangerous jumping. Oh, he forward smash. Out. Did he just pull the trigger on a forward smash to take game four against Light? Look uh, at Light. He did not like that. Yeah, he was You're not random, happy. dude. You're super random for doing that. But I don't think it's random, Max. I'm going to say it's a read. I'm going to say he understands this game. Like, nutty options. Look at that. Rolls, he just rolled in forward smashed. 
What is yeah. this, 2015? Is this a 3DS? I don't understand. Either way, Kool Aid making it work against one of the best in the business right now. Worth noting that it was one of the first times that Light didn't do two back airs into a roll cover at the edge. He only went for one. Kool Aid was like, all right, you know what? I see the switch in the pattern. Yep. I think you want blood. You're going to get some of your own. Ooh, back to Lilat. Home field advantage for Light. Very interesting, yeah. Very atypical of Fox players as well because the slants on this stage do not favor Fox, nor do the shape of the edges. His recovery being so linear, um, and also side B getting caught on the ground, adding a lot of lag, usually scares most Fox players off going here, but not light. Took the first game here, too. That's true, man. And especially after a huge deficit, too. That forward smash uh, to set the pace for the match. Light doesn't care. It's kind of, uh oh, okay. Mixing it up. Good retaliation with the bear. Spacing from Kool-Aid, but light. This jab has been super good for him. Man, if you look at this top eight, you would really question who attended this tournament, right? <laughs> no, right? Absolutely. Is this collision? Yeah. No idea, dude. It's like, wait, Light, Kool-Aid, Jackal, and Venia? Like, not that these players aren't ridiculous, because oh, they right. are, and they've proven it today. But when you see people like Nairo in this bracket, you're like, why is he not in this winner's top eight? And that's because super talented players like Venia came to take him down. Oh, air dodge, though. Light reading it, getting the up air too. Kool-Aid got to dig himself out of a hole here if he wants to make this uh, game comeback happen. And down throw back air, just tagging on the solid damage. Yeah, landing trap with dash attack. Light finally pulling ahead here. Has to recover in a tough spot. Kool-Aid going a little bit too aggressive though. Nice Light again releasing that grab early. Didn't want to eat a huge punish there. Good activation of the Firefox too. He knows Kool-Aid doesn't want to get too wild off stage because he could lose on the set. That up air. Oh, almost, but not enough. Someone in the crowd yelled, what? <laughs> nah, that was not supposed to kill or anything. Definitely could have with Rage, I suppose. Are we going <laughs> to? Yeah, I was going to say, will we see Light miss that one tech of the set? If there was any time to do it, it would be now. For Kool-Aid, that is. Kool-Aid adjusting himself in the seat. He needs to take the stock off first, but that's all he's got to do. Once he gets the stock off, he can just toss Fox off stage and have his way with him. Here we go, Kool-Aid. Light, again, choosing a good angle to go down at. Jabs, whiffs that fair, though, kind of just swats at the ground. Tilt the fly there, maybe. Forward air. <laughs> I think he held right, too. Looked like he just zoomed out of there. Maybe not, though. I mean, pretty decent rage on the Sheik. Last stock situation coming up, Max. This is such a tough spot to come back from, especially as Sheik lacking that raw kill power. But Light popping off? That wasn't even that, that intense at the end. Yeah, he had him in a ledge trap situation, got the right ledge trap, and uh, sealed that. But, I mean, game five situation, four late fits going up against Light. There you go. Up you tilt. know what? I'd pop off if I beat a player as good as Kool-Aid, so I can't even say anything. But, no, yeah, yeah, man. definitely. Yeah, what a win. It looked like the reverse 3-0 might have happened, but my man Light is just a little bit too clutch. He's going to go to winner's finals and take